Hey guys, welcome to Kennedy K. This video is gonna be a little bit different, a little bit crazy because obviously I'm not ready for the day. As you can tell, I'm still in my jam jams. Here you are. I am three weeks postpartum right now. And tomorrow, Chase and I have, and baby and our dog, I'll have to go travel to Texas to kind of figure out some things with um, our houses and where we're living because we have to move within a month and literally a month today and we need to make sure our house is all set up and ready and it's been kind of a crazy morning as you can tell i haven't had time to get ready yet but we're going to get ready and then we're going to pack with a newborn and with a puppy and with chase and i and we are going to get all ready to go to texas and figure everything out for our med school living situations and I'm really excited, but also I'm a little nervous because traveling with a newborn I've never really done before and traveling with a dog already can be a little bit tricky, but usually Kobe does really good. So we're just gonna try to get everything done today. So we've already had a little bit of a slow morning. The babies just, they just have, you have to be on their schedule. And so it's been a good morning so far. He's a sweetheart, but he finally got down for a nap and we're going to kind of touch up the house a little bit, get ready, and then we're gonna pack. So. Let's get going. I'm excited to travel and get all this house stuff worked out because we've been waiting for a really long time. For your treat? Yeah, come on. Do your little treat. <gasps> yeah, you love your treat, huh? Hey, camera shy. Oh, that's a good shake. Can you give me a good shake? Shake. Good shake. Good boy. You're such a good boy. So, we have car seat. We have our socks. I have these little things that I can attach to the bag. I'm trying to decide if I should bring the car seat separately and have the glass and we're figuring it out. But. This is a little bag thing that I can hold my diaper bag, which will be so nice, I don't have to carry it. Diaper bag is an official packet, but it will be, and it will be right here. Chill. All right, so everything's pretty much cleaned up. We just have a few things out that we know we're gonna pack. So I'm just gonna get ready for the day because baby is sleeping, which we love, and I'm gonna shower. It's gonna be great, that's like the best time of the day. And then we'll pack everything. Okay guys, I lied. I ended up wanting to just get Kobe here stuff all done. This is our puppy, Kobe Bear, he's coming with us. I know people are gonna be like, why are you bringing your dog? Well, it's really hard to find someone to sit with, um, to watch him, and he travels really well. So, and I like having all of our family together. So, we're bringing our puppy. Anyway, so here's his little um, travel bag. It's great, it has zippers to like fold out and make it bigger. So on the airplane, once we've already taken off and things are safe, we can like sit it out and he can like lay there. It's, he's great, he's always very quiet and he just sleeps the whole time, which is great. So we have his little travel bag. Honestly, this is the best one I found. It's the biggest one I found that um, flights allow. And it has both sides open up, a lot of great options. I think I have it on my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested ever. But, totally fine if you're not. Anyway, this is the best bag I've had. It's not the cutest, but hey, it's more functional and it's bigger than all the other ones. Um, these are just like little extra treats that I've had previously. So I'll just keep those in there. Then I have, for Kobe, I have melatonin, because sometimes I'll give that to him so he can be a little more relaxed on the plane or I give him CBD treats, kind of just whichever one. Sometimes it's hard to take melatonin for him, so I, he likes the CBD treats better. Anyway, there's that, here's some bones, little other treats that we have that we just give to him on the plane or 
while we're traveling in the car or other places. I have, I have this little animal. I always like having something when I pack with him that um, smells like home. So I will put this into his carrier. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's down right here like doing a sit. But anyway, so I put a little, just a toy that's like small but you can play with in the carrier if you wanted to and just smell like home. Then I have more little treats. These ones are um, just, they're only like one calorie and so they're easy to feed him if he's like feeling nervous or anxious. Treats always kind of help him. So you can put that in here as well, which is nice because this also has like a little pocket so I can easily um, access the treats if needed on the plane. I just really appreciate that. And it's easier for him and everything else. Um, we have a leash. I usually don't put leashes on um, Kobe while we're at home, just because I'm scared he's gonna somehow choke. But we have a leash, I'll put it in here for later. It has, yes, it has an air tag, or just, or I get scared that my dog's gonna get lost or kidnapped, or dog napped, I guess. So, we have that. Also, we have his leash and his harness. And then I attach to the harness a little backpack with all of his uh, poop bags. So I'm gonna put this in his carry it right now because we need all of this for the actual airport. We have some food right here. We're not gonna be gone for super long, so I just got the amount that he'll probably eat for two to three days. And then I'll put this, probably not gonna pack this in his bag. I'm gonna pack this in our suitcase. But other than that, that is what I kind of packed the dog. I also have a water, I have a water bottle for him, but I don't, I need to find that. I don't know where it is. So we're gonna try to find it. Also, I think my camera is slightly going this way. It's falling. Forgot to mention in here as well, I have a little um, bowl to put his food or water, or bowls actually, both food, food and water for when we're in the hotel. We're gonna stop that. I also forgot to mention as I'm, I was looking for water, but I'm pretty sure it's on the car. And also in the car are Kobe Bear's shoes that I love putting on him in the airport because I feel like it keeps his feet clean and safe and protected, especially to if we're walking around in the city. I like the idea of being able to take his shoes off and they're easier to clean and I can just take them off when there's something gross, especially with a baby. I wanna make sure that we're trying to be as clean as possible because I just don't want to get baby sick at all. So it's a lot easier to clean and just hopefully we'll spread less germs. There's Bear, hi. <laughs> so we'll get his shoes and his water bottle as well in a second. His shoes are little Crocs, which are adorable too. So we love it. So we'll get those. I'll put that on my list to get out of the car. Okay guys, we are in the bathroom now. I'm starting to get ready. And I've noticed I have some, a little bit of eye bag. So I was like, we're gonna do this little eye patch. I already kind of opened it. My friend gave it to me for like a little self care kit for postpartum, she's the sweetest. Shout out to Lexi. Um, anyway, we're gonna put these on my eyes. Get a little hydration and brighten these bad boys up. Ooh, that feels really good. I'm gonna put some on my upper eye. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but I need some love too. Oh, it keeps sliding right off. All right, self care. I'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, we just did a quick shower and I just kind of fixed my hair a little bit, brushed my teeth, washed my face, do some skincare.
Okay, now that I'm ready, I'm gonna pick out outfits that I'm going to wear for this trip. So now we're all dressed and ready. I'm, I already just kind of figured out everything I packed in my diaper bags. This is my diaper bag. I already have just some essentials like chapstick and things that sanitizer and things that are in here that I'm gonna use. Extras that I'm putting in are these breast shells. They are able to um, catch my milk and so I can put it in to make another bottle, which is great. Obviously I have a little bottle holder and if that's in the fridge that we'll get out tomorrow. We have Binky with a little catcher. I have extra Binkies as well in here. We have a white noise machine that I'm going to have just in case you can sleep on the plane. Maybe that will help. Oh. Maybe, maybe that will help him to sleep. I have some gripe water just in case he needs it. We have some little tiny lotion, some gum. We have my diaper changing mat, but also I have a bunch of throwaway ones as well, especially for the airport. I am gonna use ointment, wipes. I have tons of diapers in here. This is my baby wrap. I was recommended to bring my stroller, but wrap him and use a baby wrap while in the airport. So we're going to be doing that. I also have a breastfeeding cover, extra outfit, burp cloths, um, an extra blanket, some snacks for me, another little onesie, and also some medication that I'm gonna need throughout the, um, the trip. So let's pack that and get going. All right guys, baby just woke up, we just fed him, and now Chase is watching him because Chase just got done with work. And now I have to do just some laundry and then I'm gonna finish packing everything and I'll show you guys what we're packing. All right guys, laundry is all done and now I've already kind of packed everything and I'll show you guys what I packed. Okay, so I have this pink dress. It's this pink little dress. Easy for breastfeeding because it, it's buttoned down. It's supposed to be warm in Texas, so we're going to have that. We have a few different shirts and pants. They're all black because I don't know why. Literally, I don't have any other pants to fit me right now, but that are not black. But we have a pink shirt, we have some PJs, we have a sweatshirt, a few different sweatshirts, the yoga pants, we have some underwear, socks, Next, let's do some baby stuff. So we have two different sleeping sacks for him. These are ones that he really likes. I have two different set of sheets for him. Um, we're going to let him sleep in his stroller bassinet. I looked it up and it says that they can sleep in it. I know the hotel has a crib, but I just don't know how clean it is and stuff. And so if you guys know, let me know like your opinion on hotel cribs, but I do have a bassinet and it connects with the stroller and the stroller uh, is free. So might as well just bring it anyway. But this is obviously the first time traveling. So I have no idea what, if it's gonna work or not, but we're just gonna bring it just in case. Also, so those are for the bassinet. I have tons of different little onesies for him. I don't know how warm it's going to be. So I have onesies and then I have other like these are just like shirt onesies, and then these are like footy PJ onesies. I know they're, are they both called onesies? I don't know. I'm definitely over packing for him because I feel like his stuff doesn't take up a ton of room. If he goes to the bathroom or if he has a blowout or anything else on his PJs, I wanna make sure that I have extra. So that's what we have there. And now Kobe's laying on his PJs. Okay, hi Bear. These, he's probably gonna wear this to the airport because it's warm because it's cold where I'm living right now and then we'll just put a onesie underneath but I just wanted to make sure that he's warm on the plane so there is that for him and then we have a few I have like a few different blankets I have a little towel just in case he needs to get a bath so we have these diapers right here and then I have a ton in the diaper bag so hopefully it'll be good and then if not I can just buy some um, I have some wipes 
I have a few different burp cloths and wash rags for him. There's my laptop. That's kind of everything right <laughs> there that I have so far packing for him. Chase just packed his own clothes, so he's all set to go. I have um, all of my toiletries are here. We're gonna, I'll probably use them tomorrow and tonight, but then pack those tomorrow. And yes, that is pretty much, I'm not gonna bring my pump. I was thinking about it, but I decided I'm not going to, and we'll see if that was a mistake or not. But I do have my breast shells, which kind of help get the milk anyway. So we'll see if that's a good thing. And I'm also gonna bring frozen breast milk. I read online that you can bring that, and so I'll just bring that and have it in the fridge for a few days before, because we're only gonna be there for four days anyway. So I think we'll be okay. So that's kind of everything I'm packing. Let's put it all in the suitcase, and let's hope everything fits. Oh, I forgot to mention, these are the shoes I'm gonna wear because these literally fit and work for everything. And I'm not working out because I can't until six weeks. So, kind of worked out. Anyway, let's get packing. All right, guys, we are packed all we can for today. And we're gonna finish packing all tomorrow morning. I'll see you guys then. It took a second, but we all got all our stuff. And now we are going to the airport. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye.